Hi, this is uh, Nick from Fire Engines. I just want to show you the difference you can get between these two spark plugs. On the right, we have the um, Champion L86C, which I'd recommend. I sell these on my website. But you can't get them easily elsewhere, but um, they seem to just last a long time and uh, I've got this one out of the box and solved an engine here which wasn't running so I just spent five minutes turning this engine over with, which had been running fine and the NGK plug here you can see is fouled up this should be fairly white the insulator material and if I run turn this engine over now you'll see that that will be tracking I'm not going to hold it because I have to hurt myself um, I have to do this make sure when you do it don't put it near here because you could get the fuel. Uh, but I'm just showing you the tracking pattern on the tip here. So if I turn this engine over, you'll see this sparking. And you can see that it's actually tracking across this um, intermediate material, which is supposed to be insulating. It should only be going between the um, the tip here, which is the earth, and the central electrode. So you should only get the spark here, but in fact it's going down the outside. Now if you compare to the, this to brand new, and I've just run this, this is a champion plug, you'll see the insulation is white, and you'll get a much better spark on these things. And there you can see that the spark is nice and bright, it's only between the earth insulator and, and the central tip. So you aren't getting tracking down the sides, and it's recessed a bit as well. So I find these plugs last a long time. If we try it in the engine, you'll see. So let's just put this NGK in. It's a B5HS, I think the B6HS is, is another one. You can get these NGK plugs from pretty much anywhere. I'll just zoom out for you. Um, you can get these plugs anywhere and they're really cheap and sometimes they last for years but I have had a hell of a lot of problems with these. I never fit these to a new engine because I know it's just not worth it for the extra few pounds. So you'd normally have a rubber boot on this HT cap and I can turn this over. You see that? It's not starting. Okay, and that I've been winding it over for a good minute. It won't start, even though there is a spark. You saw the spark, but the problem is the spark is not coming bright and from the centre. So I'll take this out. Incidentally, I've got a stainless steel exhaust on this, which I'm just about to launch to replace the aluminium ones, which you may have rotting out. So look out for that. Um, it's a brand new item and it fits the 7 and 12. That's the same plug I just showed you. So it's used. Um, it's been running in this engine early. It solved the problem, that's why. So this has only actually been running a couple of minutes. That white insulator will turn dark, but the fact is these plugs have a much better life. And I bet you this will start up straight away. Are you ready? There you go. And I'll stop the engine. Okay, that's my Champion um, plugs which you can buy, L86C with a double copper core, absolutely fantastic. And again, one, two, three. And I've stopped it with the shorting wire. So there you go, don't buy, put cheap NGK plugs in these engines, they're a waste of money. And if you've got a dirty plug, put a new one in, don't try and clean them up. And there's one last thing I'd like to show you, which is about the tip. Um, what you can do, um, some of these engines have a, a high clearance for the piston. And so what you want to avoid is when you finally tighten down, um, you want to avoid that gap, which is about 25 thousandths of an inch, closing down if the piston hits it. So these NG ones are not a problem but sometimes I've seen on the champions the piston will come up and hit this if this is downwards 
So you make sure that that isn't in the downward position by simply, when the plug is new, you put a, a physical mark like this, or a mental one of where the picture is, and then what you want to do is tighten that so that doesn't point downwards. So as long as you can see that mark, you know that earth electrode can't be hit by the piston and you will never have a, a problem running that, even if you get wear in the big end. So I will tighten that down. Just a little bit of torque. And you can see that mark, which means that the earth electrode is not pointed downwards. We're never going to have a problem with that. So there you go. I'll have to start that up again to prove it's alright. So this is Nick from VireEngines.com. I'm the only dealer in the world now and technical support. If you go to VireEngines.com website you can see all the parts. The parts give you in the description advice about what they're for, how to fit them, the symptoms of if uh, a part is failing and what you also might need to buy at the same time to save you postage. So thank you all and also look out for my um, other videos on YouTube channel Nick Vire. Cheers.